Hey, Annette Reader here, and I want to share with you about ginger, how to buy it, how to store it, and how to use it. I'm the biblical nutritionist, and I'm on mission to keep you on mission. Ginger is a, an extremely healthy food, but sometimes when you walk in the grocery store and, store and you just kind of see this gnarly root, you don't know what to do with it. But just realize, ginger is anti-inflammatory. Ginger will boost your immune system. Ginger will help you get rid of that cold faster. It actually does other things like it decreases inflammation. It helps to regulate and improve your blood sugar. That in itself is good enough reason to start enjoying ginger. But don't be intimidated by it in the grocery store. So as you can see, it's usually in a bin like this, and it's just gonna be a lot of gnarly roots. It's also sold by the pound. So if you're new to this, come to the store and look at all of the different sizes. And if you're new to ginger, this is not the one I recommend you buy. Look for one of the smaller pieces like this. And I even found a smaller one like this. So since you're paying for it by the pound, this would be a great way to start. Experiment with it, see how you like it before you jump in and buy the huge roots. And so, when you get this at home, then you're wondering, now what do I do with it? Or you might have bought it on an impulse because you saw this post or someone else's post and why you need ginger. So you bought it on impulse and then, you know, two months later you see it pushed to the back of the vegetable tray in your refrigerator and you're like, great, now what do I do with it? Are you talking <laughs> And so what I want to share with you is how to use this ginger. First of all, you can peel this, not with a vegetable peeler, but even with just a plain old spoon. You can just take a, the back of a spoon and just peel this and it'll come right off. Yet it will even, then on the knobby parts, you can just kind of trim that off. The, once you've peeled it, you can throw it in the freezer. And we're having a little bit of humor going on here in the grocery store, so I may start laughing. But anyway, so you can peel it, you can throw it in the, in the freezer just like this. You can also slice it and then throw it in the freezer. Then you can take one of those slices out of the freezer, just one slice, and throw that in your tea. Or you could throw it in a smoothie, whatever you prefer. But if you're in the evening and you just love to calm down with a nice cup of tea, then throw some ginger in. You wake up in the morning and you're drinking your warm lemon water. You could add ginger to that. So yeah, definitely learn how to peel it with the back of a spoon. Super easy, much easier than a vegetable peeler. Trim off the ends. Don't go for perfectionism, just peel it. Then just store it in the freezer. Once it's frozen, it can be frozen up to three months and still be good, still have a quiet, high quality vitamin A and vitamin C content. Then it's easier to shred when it's frozen. So that makes it easier to add to different dishes. You could put it in cookies, you could put it in stew, you could put it in so many amazing different dishes and it will have an amazing flavor. Most people know ginger because it helps with nausea. And women who are pregnant who have morning sickness, ginger really helps with that. Or if you're gonna go on a cruise and you're afraid the boat's gonna be, you know, a little bit too tipsy for you, then if you had some ginger with you, that would help calm down that nausea. So the good news is buy only the quantity that you want. If they only have great big pieces like this, you can just break it off. Just break off the size you wanna buy, take that home, peel it, put it in the freezer, slice it first, peel out slices, or you can even put it into some julienne slices. That would make it easy to just pull out a nice little you know, stick and throw it in your dishes throw it in your tea every morning and you are good to go. So Annette Reader, the biblical nutritionist, I just want to encourage you, branch out into some more different foods, improve your health, and as you improve your health, then you actually make me happy. So I'm on mission to keep you on mission. Share some comments down below how you enjoy ginger and how you've added it to your family's diet program and whether or not you freeze yours or not. I would love to read your comments.